Hi everyone, uh, Professor Mohammed Shah with you. Um, our subject today is um, is about solar uh, adsorption refrigeration cycle. Uh, you have to specify your folder. Uh, don't open your model from desktop, just copy it in your main folder, open MATLAB, go to your destination folder from here, from this path, okay, click here and uh, sort by name and uh, group by type, okay, now you will find your model, we are running on version 2, okay, this is our main cycle, it's about solar adsorption, um, solar adsorb adsorption system, um, it's quite interesting uh, model. Um, it's for refrigeration or air conditioning systems. Um, the cycle mainly contain containing a solar field or a main source of heat, and we have desorber or desorber bit, and we have a, a condenser and evaporator and uh, the cooling load or refrigerant load. Uh, that's the main cycle simply so we need just to, to generate high power in order to uh, release the vapor or refrigerant vapor uh, through the uh, condenser and uh, between condenser and uh, evaporator uh, and during um, a day of period of the sun uh, um, uh, the bed will uh, um, absorb uh, the refrigerant uh, uh, working fluid okay uh, just double clicking here we can assign some uh, input let's go here and prepare our model okay we have here um, as you can see we have some input uh, to be considered this is um, a carbon ch3oh uh, this is an example uh, we can assign uh, evaporator temperature okay uh, and uh, condenser temperature this is lower temperature pressure and this is high temperature pressure of the cycle and we can assign a refrigerant load suppose I need uh, uh, five tons of refrigerant okay uh, as, a, as, a, as a, uh, load on the cycle okay and what is our end cooling water temperature? Suppose we need to, to cool down the condenser unit, so there is need, we can cool it uh, via air or uh, water. That's up to our design. Suppose I need uh, water inlet at um, uh, 20 degrees Celsius and uh, maximum output uh, uh, going to the evaporator should be around uh, 40 degrees Celsius. It's up to your design. Uh, and this is outlet air from the evaporator for suppose we are going to use uh, uh, air conditioning system so this is our main target of air temperature we need this as an air temperature to be uh, as a target uh, to cool down the room or uh, factory or whatever and we have here for evaporator we need to assign uh, coil uh, diameters uh, similar conductivity of the coil under your choice uh, air duct diameter okay this is for uh, um, the duct that should uh, transfer air fl uh, flow rate uh, that being cooled by the evaporator and we have here uh, we can choose between circular duct or uh, square duct uh, chip okay and for condenser we can choose also uh, uh, tube diameter and for bed reactor we can choose between uh, some uh, uh, considerations um, concentration percentages uh, we can choose between three uh, uh, types of concentration i would choose three one the third one and uh, bed tank diameter it's up to your design for larger capacity you can increase this one and what is your bed performance effectiveness between your bed and solar field uh, condenser effectiveness uh, bump efficiency and fan power efficiency okay and operating hours okay that's f that's fine for now you can run your simulation time into um, uh, suppose i need to run it with uh, with respect to the time changing so i am here <coughs> <clears throat> sorry okay this is our main cycle we have here evaporator 
bed and condenser and this is your uh, expansion valve and we have here solar field uh, just double clicking here it's a flat plate solar collector we can assign uh, your this is design model so if you change your solar radiation you will change the, the, the area that been used so we need to assign uh, you have to refer to our previous videos about this one Suppose I, I am working on 300 watt per meter square as a starting a starting point, uh, wind speed, ambient temperature, and outlet collector uh, temperature. This is my desired temperature. Suppose it's 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, hit apply. And for design, what is your uh, glass covers? Uh, I stick myself at one. Uh, flap bit tilt angle. What is your tilt angle? and um, glass emittance, uh, plate emittance, uh, edge losses which kept constant within this range, uh, bottom losses, uh, tube spacing, okay, a tube spacing, spacing between tubes because this is flat plate solar collector, a tube diameter, a plate thickness and um, a similar conductivity of the tubes, mainly we, we, we can use uh, copper, okay. So I, I suppose I need, uh, let it be minimum range, 500, okay. And I will save my, my model, okay. See to simulation time into infinity. Send your result to data inspector, okay, from here. Okay, just to click on the signal and uh, oh, from here, click on the signal and choose this one, it's streaming to be sent. Uh, to the data inspector and uh, be sure that you you will send your data to uh, MATLAB workspace let's hit run set your simulation time into infinity hit run and I'm trying to change the refrigerant load or some parameters I will hit run and see my results let's hit run okay the simulation time compiling okay now uh, let's go for here uh, I will I will increase uh, just move your cursor key keyboard cursor arrows I'm increasing the refrigerant load increasing it and realizing there is a change in uh, parameters okay and uh, decreasing it back again okay as you can see uh, design based on your uh, load conditions uh, air temperature suppose I I need just uh, 50, uh, 18 degrees Celsius uh, refrigerator evaporator temperature I am decreasing it okay increasing it a little bit minus 5 okay okay that's enough for now okay. hit a stop going here that instructor I am trying to inspect some results Okay, let's go for more slots and let's go here. Okay, if you would like to inspect more about flappability collector, you have to click here so you will find yourself going inside and double clicking here, you will find your code so you can use it in your uh, research activities and so on. Uh, this is plate temperature because this is the highest temperature through the solar field. Uh, this temperature or the plate should transfer its uh, uh, large heat because this absorb most um, uh, uh, energy from the sun and deliver it to the tubes because the tubes of the solar field uh, is attached to the plate and we have this is average plate temperature okay this is a stagnation point and this is average and we have here this is for uh, this is the last bo uh, data last point entered to the solar field will uh, result uh, 11 uh, square meter of solar field thermal power mass flow to the solar field overall heat losses heat removal factor efficiency factor fin efficiency flow factor solar field efficiency and some exergetic results if you would like and let's hit back again and you can discover your results from here. Um, uh, this is uh, uh, in Salbi uh, uh, inlet to the, to the bed. And this is the superheat temperature. 
and this is inlet solar field temperature okay because we have inlet temperature and outlet and this is your performance ratio uh, I'm sorry this is pressure ratio high pressure over uh, this is your high pressure over low pressure um, I mean uh, condenser pressure over the uh, evaporator pressure uh, bit thermal power uh, and this is volume, total bit volume, a mass flow rate of the refrigerant so the cycle, uh, mass flow rate uh, of the uh, absorbent, and uh, bit height you can control this one. Let's go here. This is some results: pressure ratio, uh, inlet solar field. You can realize the change if you would like. Let's go back here for data inspector, and we can. This is plate temperature changing mean pellet temperature okay and uh, solar field efficiency let's go for um, thermal power okay uh, mass flow rate and overall heat loss okay let's go for uh, uh, this is your load varying uh, and salpy uh, uh, pressure be high uh, outlet air temperature outlet air temperature uh, COP okay and uh, for the sun COP changing in salpy and salpy uh, to the evaporator um, we can add more slots uh, let's go for condenser condenser area and uh, condenser, condenser thermal power and um, cooling water mass flow rate and so on you can also uh, uh, save this one and you can go here and so you go here you will find your results stored here also you can seal some result to data inspector by or outside workspace by clicking things and choose save to workspace so you can uh, draw some figures and some uh, relations uh, between two or more uh, parameters let's go for I'm trying to change our run again okay I will run the model again just clicking here and keep this down here and let's go here okay uh, I will run I will hit run and try to change solar the solar radiation okay let's hit run and see uh, I should be uh, okay solar collector oh okay uh, Let's hit run and see uh, some results. Okay, I suppose I need I I would like to increase uh, solar radiation. Okay, it has some effect on uh, COP, as you uh, realize, and I would like to increase the temperature outlet from the solar field up to uh, as you can see as you realize the COP is changing in changing mode. I would like to increase it up to 100 and let's uh, decrease the cooling load again okay and increase uh, evaporator temperature or decrease it to the minus 18 for example or minus 20 okay that's enough for now I just stop and let's hit back again click here and we can uh, compare our results we can compare our results let's go for the COP this is your second run and this is your first run so I uh, suppose I need uh, this is COP for example you can compare this as you can add you as you can realize there's a changing in, uh, in between two runs uh, okay changing cooling okay uh, condenser area uh, so many parameters you can uh, consider and so many parameters you can compare let's go here for plate uh, temperature I think we have some changes I mean mean plate temperature okay collector efficiency yes uh, condenser area so you have you can add more runs and compare um, based on specific cases you would like to study and this is a design mode in design mode we are going to inspect the future uh, trying to inspect the future okay we are trying to inspect the future based on our results 
this is a, a, a mean tank temperature for the condenser, uh, thermal tank power, uh, tank volume, uh, mass, uh, outlet cooling temperature, uh, cooling water mass flow rate, uh, pumping power, condenser area, tubes area, and so on. We are trying to inspect because we, we would like to inspect uh, what is our solar feed area if we are going to uh, use uh, or to generate uh, five ton refrigerant as a cooling load or air conditioning uh, purposes. And therefore, we need to inspect the area, we need to inspect the future, and we need to inspect the cost of such uh, units. Um, uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to uh, like, uh, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.